Uh, now, when we are going to talk about ulcers, so till now we were discussing about gastritis. Now we are going to talk about peptic ulcers. So in peptic ulcers, these are of two types. First is gastric ulcer, which can occur in your stomach area. Second is duodenal ulcers. It can occur in your small intestine, the upper portion, which is close to the exit of your stomach. So these are the examples. So it can happen in the fundus region okay, of your stomach. It can also happen in the uh, mid region of your stomach or in the duodenum the this is the gastric emptying sphincter so this is where the ulcer can also happen so this will be called as duodenal ulcer the cause of both type of ulcers is almost the same if we zoom in a little bit to this area you can see that after the upper protective lining is gone let me just change the color of the tip after the upper mucosal lining is gone the acid and the bacteria is going to start digging deep into your tissue area okay this area so it will eat away your skin your stomach from the inside uh, reaching up to submucosal layer and the tissue and muscle layer beneath it okay so it will go keep it will keep on increasing until unless you get proper medical care and treatment for it uh, the next slide is an endoscopy picture okay so this is a procedure in which an uh, endoscopy probe, a wire with a camera is inserted into your oral cavity and it travels through your food pipe or esophagus into your stomach to see whether you have ulcers or not. Ulcers or not. So this is a, a very fine uh, stomach, a normal stomach. We don't see any ulcers in there or any other issues. The, the skin of the inner side of the stomach is looking fine. But over here, we do notice a big ulcer. So these ulcers in appearance will be similar to the crank sores, to the mouth ulcers that you have, but uh, it, they can be bigger and they can, if the stages keep on progressing, they can even be more painful and dangerous. So just, ha just imagine how painful is a mouth ulcer. So imagine that thing uh, being present inside your stomach. So every time you eat food, every time your gastric juices and acids are released, every time they are going to irritate, every time you're going to drink or eat something, it is going to irritate your stomach from the inside. So if something is not done, if proper treatment is not uh, given to a patient with ulcers, these ulcers will keep on progressing, harming the skin, continuously digging deep into the tissue and they can even cause a hole in the stomach, a hole in your stomach. So if the problem reaches up to this level, imagine if you are going to drink a cup of tea or a cup of milk or you are having any meal, all the food that you are going to eat or the water that you are going to drink will be going into your abdominal cavity through this hole, which is a very dangerous situation. Your food is not supposed to be in your abdominal cavity. It is only supposed to be inside your stomach and intestines. So these ulcers are going to bleed profusely and then with this blood mixed, in your food the tari and uh, the black color of stools uh, which we have discussed over here this uh, stool discoloration and even blood in your vomit will happen if the stage of, of the ulcer keep on progressing and they develop a hole in your stomach okay so the next slide is also explaining the same thing you had eaten something and now that food that you have eaten is secreting uh, all the way outside in your abdominal cavity which is toxic which is poisonous to our body because now the food is also mixed with acids so they can harm the inner abdominal layers of your body and other organs so sometimes uh, gastric ulcers are also confused with cancer so uh, the specialist with the help of an endoscopy or with the help of a pet scan we can distinguish between the two but there is a pathological difference between having an ulcer or having a stomach cancer Okay, so here you can see in the early layers there will be there will be something detected in the mucus layer and which will keep on progressing into the submucosal layer and the muscle and skin tissue which will start and perforate outside the lining, outside the lining of your stomach. So this is a tumor growth not to be mixed up with ulcer. So there are three types of treatments. So we can have a surgical treatment, we can have a medication treatment or we can have a therapeutic diet treatment for peptic ulcers. So in this video, uh, I'm just going to skip through the surgical procedures because they're not uh, something that we want to discuss much on our channel. Okay. If 
the ulcers are if the ulcers are grown up to the stage where there is a hole in your stomach you definitely need a surgery there is no delaying in that okay so a vagotomy or a bilroth surgery can be suggested to you by your by your surgeon okay uh, these are the different types of surgeries that can be done so we are not going to discuss much but if there is a if, if there is a bleeding ulcer we actually stitch it up like any other wound any other open wound okay so last part of this video is we are going to discuss about the medication that is being given so if the ulcers are caused by the presence of h pylori then we will be giving very strong antibiotics remember if you are having a weak stomach acid the h pylori will grow and cause an ulcer so we have to control the microflora of the stomach and we have to reduce or kill this h pylori bacteria with antibiotics of these categories okay along with that we will be giving some acid lowering medications which are usually called ppis okay protein uh, sorry proton pump inhibitors so medicine like uh, omeprazole lorenzoprazole rabiprazole okay all these medicines some of the medicine ending with dsr so these medications are actually going to reduce the stomach acid now why we are trying to reduce the stomach acid just skip to a few slides before imagine this is the situation in your stomach imagine this is a pretty big uh, pretty big ulcer over here okay when you will eat any food the food is going to irritate this ulcer if you are drinking something the drink will also irritate this ulcer and to digest that food to digest that drink your body is going to produce very strong stomach acids okay which are also going to further irritate your ulcer okay just consider it like a wound on your hand if there is a wound on your hand and you constantly keep on touching it with oil with water with some spice or with whatever type of food or grease anything first of all it is not going to heal up second of all it is going to pain like hell so we can clean the wound and apply a dressing and a bandage upon your hand but we cannot apply a bandage or a dressing inside your stomach okay so that is why to reduce the further damage that is being caused in your stomach we also doctor is also going to prescribe you some protein pump inhibitors uh, which have their own side effects so which we will be talking about in the next video so guys this was the pathophysiology of gastritis and peptic ulcers uh, we have also outlined a few things that we are going to cover in the future in this video we only discussed about what peptic ulcers are what are the types of peptic ulcer what is the cause of peptic ulcer okay but in the next video we are going to directly talk about what type of diet that we are going to have if we are actually suffering from peptic ulcers let it be gastric or duodenal ulcers so to watch that video follow me on instagram and follow me on facebook and subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to push the notification bell icon if you are suffering from gastritis or from peptic ulcers you can also dm me so if you want a personal diet plan for yourself or anybody you know who is suffering from a uh, from a, a gastric ulcer or a peptic ulcer you can dm me we can get in touch and i can also send you a diet plan but in the next video there is a surprise for everybody you are getting a diet plan for gastritis and peptic ulcers in the ending of the next video so don't forget to watch that video i'll see you guys next time until then you take off yourself be healthy stay safe best of luck